All right, good day everyone. This is Derry Smith and uh, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure an email server in this video. So let's get started. First things first, we need to get an email server. An email server. So head over to eachmailserver.com and download it. Put a quick download and select the latest build. To run it, we're gonna reach you set up the installation screen. Select next, accept the agreement, next, select whichever directory you would like to install it to, next again, next, leave this as is, and click next. And uh, next again, and install. to put in a password go ahead and do exactly that then retype it again click next and then click finish now connect screen will, will come up click connect and then type in the password you just now created okay and uh, you'll be you will reach this screen here before you continue you need to head over to Windows Directory, System32, Drivers, ETC, to edit the host file. So while here, right click on host, and you're going to open it with notepad. Host file open up at the end of local. You click to the end of local, host and press tab, and then you're gonna create a one word domain name with the dot local extension. So I'm just gonna yes. Then you're going to exit it, save it. After you edit the host file. Go back to the Hmail server administrator and you're going to go on domains. You're going to add a new domain. And in the domain here, you're going to put in the same domain you're entered into the host file. You're just going to save that. Then next, you're going to go on the accounts and add a new account. Give it username, set the maximum size, gonna put it to 10, and gonna click save. Okay. And you exit it. The next program we need to get is something called Squirrel Mail, which will, which together with each mail server, you'll be able to use your email server so I don't know what is squirrelmail.org and uh, go to download scroll down and get the scroll mail 1.4.21.zip and when you get it extract it to whichever directory you would like I extracted mine to C drive next we're gonna go to warm server Select it, go to Apache, alias directories, add an alias. Uh, command prompt window will open up, and what you want to do here is type in mail, enter, and you're going to put the directory where it is located. The ls is created you can now exit then we're going to head on over to our squirrel mail config folder and then here you're going to rename config underscore default.php 
to config that feed. Then you're gonna open up config that feed. With that. And you're gonna change a couple things. First, you wanna you want your domain name to equal the domain name created. So you're gonna change this from example.com to the one you created in the host file. Next, you want the SMT, SMTP server address to be the same thing. So we're gonna go from local host and put in the name created. Your IMAP server address, you want that to be equal to your domain name also. So we're gonna change that too. You want imap underscore server underscore type to be equal to each mail server. The data dir, data underscore dir, you want that to be equal to c colon forward slash squirrel mail forward slash data forward slash and Attachment underscore dir you want that to be equal to c colon forward slash squirrel mail forward slash attach. Now save it and open up. Go to your browser 